Today we want to continue with part 4 on our one to many and many to one relationship. Actually, we've done part 1 to 4 without having written anything that has to do with one to many. Let's first do this part 4, initializing our database with some data so that when we start writing, uh, doing the relationship, we'll be able to exactly appreciate what we are doing. So let's do database initialization. We need to write some initial query, insert query that will insert data into the database. But where is the database we are talking about? We've not created any database. That is a, the, the beauty of in-memory database and the beauty of Hibernate. So Hibernate will create the database for you on the fly. You don't need to worry about creating this database, provided that you define your classes. The database will be created and the tables will be created using the names of the classes in your application. All right, so to initialize the database, to write the initialization query, go to SRC main resources and just create a new file, a new file, just file, and call it data.sql. That's the name. The name, you cannot change it. Just leave it at data.sql. So what happens is when the application runs, it's going to go read this file and then use the query, insert query in there to insert some data into the database. Let me check if I received some distraction. Sorry for that. All right, so, uh, oh, so, no, it's trying to open in uh, this, in this uh, management studio. So I'm going, oh, sorry, I'm going to just cancel it. Mm -hmm. So just right click on it and say open with and choose test editor. And now let's write some query. Now let me start by saying insert into location uh, values. And we have location ID and name. So specify the, the ID and the name. Let's say Budapest. And just do one more for the location again. So I'm going to copy and paste it. Control V, location 2. Some location in Nigeria. Okay, so let's now insert into, let's say, user insert into user values. <coughs> so I'm going to take all these uh, values, is going to be so user ID, let's say one. Now let's check what we have in user. So we have all of these first name, last name, location, and email. So First name, kind son. Location is location one, right? So now I'm using the ID now instead of the location. So my email is uh, kind son. The anyway, let's let's just leave it halfway. It's, it doesn't matter. So I've inserted one user. Let me insert this. Uh, this time I'm ins I will have to insert a post. Insert into post values one and user is user one. Let's check what is in post. So we have a uh, date time. So, okay, I the date should be called dates. Uh, let me just make sure I got it correctly. So let me see, uh, let me check. Uh, open a recent file that contains um, um, sorry, let me let me use it. Let me open a file from my system so that I check the exact uh, syntax for you for getting the current date. Let me see uh, my drive. Uh, let's see, you have somewhere here. Uh, from an API, and it should be. In SRC main to be resources and data.sql. So uh, you can see uh, I have a whole lot of insertions here. So I want to actually check for current dates. There must be a code that contains current dates. Let me see. Yeah, so you have current timestamp, you can see. So that is what you should use for the current date. 
So let me just copy it and then I'm going to put it there. So after post date, we have user and details. So, so, uh, so this is dates, okay. Uh, user is user one and details is my first post. Okay, so put semicolon at the end of everything. Just put semicolon at the end of everything. And we started location, we started a user, we started post. Now I'm going to save everything. Uh, again, if I run it, it's not going to work. The reason is because we need to move on to the next step at this time. Now, after the next step, which is actually uh, this one that says at one to many and at many to one, we'll be able to test this application to see that it, it works. So at this point, I'm going to allow you to play around, to create the database initialization query, the data data SQL, and then let's move on to at many, at one to many, and then at many to one. I'd like to thank you for viewing.